Assalamualaikum and good day everyone. This is our first topic under Malaysian legal system. What is law? These are the definitions. Alright, from those two definitions, we can conclude that law is a body of rules and regulation derived from some principles and customary rules that are recognized by each state to be binding upon their people or community. These rules and regulation are applied by them in ruling and upholding justice among them. These are the topics which you are going to cover under Malaysian legal system. First, classification of law. Two, sources of Malaysian law. Three, lawmaking process. And four, court system in Malaysia. And in this video, you are going to learn about classification of law. In Malaysia, law is classified into three categories. One is public law, second private law, and third international law. Now we come to the first category of law, that is public law. Public law is the law which regulates the relationship between a state and its citizen. This law concerns with the responsibilities and liabilities of an individual towards the state and the other way around. These are the most common examples for public law, constitutional law, administrative law, and criminal law. What is constitutional law? These are among its content. Under this constitutional law, the powers of the government is separated into three bodies that have separated powers. They are, first, the executive, consists of various ministers in the cabinet, headed by the prime minister. Second, the legislative, which consists of the Dewan Rakyat and Dewan Negara, headed by the Yang Diputuan Agong. And finally, the judiciary, headed by the chief justice. Administrative law is the law that governs the internal operations of the government agencies and authorities. This law is to ensure that the government do not abuse their powers and the interests of the public are protected. Even though the offences committed by the criminals are against individuals, the criminal law is classified as public law. This is because the purpose of the law is to protect the interests of the public and the state as a whole. Now we come to the second category of law, that is private law.
The purpose of this private law is to govern the relationship between one person with another. These are among the examples of private law. All these laws regulate the relationship between one individual with another. Okay, now the last category of law is international law. International law is the law that must be observed by each and every state in the world. This law is to govern their relationship between one another. International law is divided into two. One is public international law and the other one is private international law. Private international law is to regulate the relationship between the persons who come from different states. This law is to guide the judges in solving the problem between the parties due to conflict of laws between their states. In conclusion, there are three classes of law in Malaysia. One is public law, private law and international law.